Hello everybody, welcome back to the Long Dark Coastal Highway. My name is Bear, we have taken shelter inside of a trailer, and my hunger and thirst are looking decent. My hunger is a little bit getting up there. I could actually stand to go for a bit more sleep here, my fatigue levels are a bit high as well. Although the, uh, the problem here is the fact that I still have yet to find a... a can opener, which is limiting the availability of food for me here. So what I might end up doing is trying to spend the night in this area and then maybe just trying to smash one of these cans of food open and see if I can get some food from them that way. Which does do wonders to, uh, to assert the levels of desperation that we are already coming to in day two out here in the wilderness of the coastal highway. I'm kind of hoping though that maybe what we ought to do is, uh, is head out this way. The winds are picking up a little bit, but I feel as though we might be better off trying to find something else. Trying to find another place to scavenge and maybe find a few more food sources that don't necessarily require us to smash open our uh, precious little... Oh, well, speaking of precious, here is a corpse. That was... Uh, well, there are multiple ways to interpret what I just said, but let's go with the safest one. And unfortunately, it's completely empty at the same time, so it's not precious at all. But uh, the uh, the food sources I, I'd like to keep in, in, in tow are those canned ones that we've already come across and I'd like to just be able to find a place, maybe even find a a deer corpse or a wolf corpse or something along those lines uh, as we make our way further up here that would give us some meat that we could cook that up and then uh, have a lot of food from that source. Oh my goodness. Hello there. A running, a running river. A waterfall even. I can't get over into it. I'd like to very much. Let's have a look at this. This is running into frozen ice, but it is still moving on its own. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Oh, goodness. I really hope I didn't just screw myself over here. Oh, of all the times I wish I could jump. There we go. Fix that up. I really shouldn't be spending too much time admiring this spectacle, but it is quite interesting. The, the water almost looks like taffy, which is fitting for me. It really just does look like, uh, you know, you've seen taffy machines, right? Where they pull the stuff around in loops. Looks just like that. It's pretty cool. Now we get a much, uh, a much more intimidating obstacle coming up right here. I'm kind of worried this is going to result in a dead end. Travel to Ravine. Should we do that? I guess so. To the Ravine. I wonder if that's going to be Mystery Lake. Interesting. Wow, this is okay. So there are actually travel positions now. I, I was wondering what this tunnel would lead to. I'm really glad it's not a dead end. Wow, okay. Well, I clearly want to stay up. I feel like staying as high as I possibly can gives me the most benefits. And the sun's also going down, so I really want to try to avoid being caught out at night here. Oh, goodness, wow. This is going to be... Okay, yep. Yep. We're going to try this. Yikes. Oh, man. Definitely don't want to fall here. This would be... <laughs> oh, and the creaking as well. My goodness. This would be so intense to try to do. Oh, man. I would be I would be losing my freaking mind up here. I feel like I... <laughs> oh, I, fe I felt like I was being followed for a moment there. Good God, but look at that. Yeah. Running water again, the whole entire bridge. Man, I wouldn't trust this thing for a second if I was in a railroad. Or if I was in a railroad, if I was in a train. If I were in an actual full size train going over this bridge, hell no, man. This is rickety as hell. It's ridiculous. We got across though just fine. Oh boy. I'm really hoping this is going to lead to something useful. We're starting to, uh,. Get closer and closer to really bad conditions here. Fatigue levels aren't terrible, but with the amount of stuff I've got in my pack right now, I imagine encumbrance is going to become an issue pretty soon. I'm just going to keep following the railroad tracks, and hopefully it'll lead us to a building. Travel to... Ooh, to Mystery Lake again. You know what? I've had enough of Mystery Lake. I know about the whereabouts of Mystery Lake. That would be... That would probably make things a little bit too easy, right? It's good to know that that connects, though. That's pretty interesting. But I'm going to take my chances, I think, down in the ravine. But I just gotta find a safe way to get there. Down further. I don't even know if this is really anything I want to explore. 
I feel like there's got to be stuff down there, so let's try to find a safe way down. Maybe if I just gently... Okay, so I guess we're taking this path. If I just gently skirt down this way, we should be alright. Or maybe not. This is interesting. I'm walking on air. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh boy, this is not... I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. Oh, I died. I died from massive internal injuries after falling. <laughs> Alright, I don't think it wants me to go there, so I guess we're going to start off with fresh again. That was that was an interesting decision. I, uh, the, the ravine maybe is just then a travel point between the Mystery Lake and the Coastal Highway. That appears to be the case more so than it is its own area to explore, so that's fair. Starting off at a river this time. I want to make sure that I'm wearing all the equipment that I possibly can to keep myself warm here. Indeed we are. Alright, well we start off in the morning this time. It wasn't too long of a tr or, uh, too long of an expedition in our, in our first playthrough there, so I'm totally okay with starting from scratch. That is uh, that's a good way to learn what your limits are, though. I was really hoping that the ravine... I, I probably should have taken a hint from the, uh, from the invisible floors over there. Uh, uh, that that was what was going on. It's good to know that the ravine is no longer considerable, considered an explorable area, as it were. I'm going to try to get up to a tall height here and see where we actually are. Looks like we're kind of nearby where we started off last time. I might even go for the expedition across the lake if I can manage to muster my way over there. Because that looks like a pretty massive addition over across the frozen tundra. Yeah, we've had, we have found our way back to the actual highway itself again. Nice and fast on our way down here. I don't know if this is a lot further down. No, it looks like, okay, so this is probably about where we started off last time. If we run along the highway here for a second. Oh, we can actually go a lot faster if we're running on the highway. That's kind of cool. That's kind of interesting. I like that. Do we go across this bridge? I don't seem to recall this bridge. This seems new. But maybe I should keep going over in that direction. I kind of want to check out that island as well. Or what appears to be an island of sorts. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. I don't know if I even mentioned this yet, but this should be... Uh, per YouTube's newest features, this should be uploading in glorious 60 frames per second if you're w watching on uh, Google Chrome or I believe Internet Explorer as well. So that's exciting. Kind of sounds like the ice is cracking. A little bit. I'm kind of terrified that if I venture out too far without any kind of precautionary measures, I'm going to end up falling through the ice to my death. Dying twice in the same episode. That could be a thrill ride, right? That's totally what we want to go for. I should probably check out these little huts as well as we're wandering over here, but my curiosity is getting the better of me. I just want to keep moving forward. That all the way down there, that certainly looks like something we can get to as well, although it's a really far walk. So I don't know about that one. Hmm. Definitely want to check this out. I have a feeling maybe we'll find a cave or something over in this area. It can't just be here for looks, right? Nothing's here for looks in this game. That's not possible. There's always, there's always resources in the island as akin to there always being money in the banana stand. It's, it's, it's a 100% truth. Okay, let's find our way up. Might even be rabbits over here. We could certainly stand to find some new elements of survival. We shall find out as we make our way to the tippy top of the island lake, Jack Rabbit Island. Oh yeah, that certainly sounds like a place we might find some of those little critters. All right then. Oh, hello, hello. Yes, indeed. Two things I was hoping to see. Very nice. All right, multiple entry points. Oh goodness. Ooh, kind of scared me. A little pitter patter was a little bit. <laughs> hey, bears being terrified by rabbits. What a reverse polarity in the universe. Alright, let's go ahead inside and see what we can find. Kind of looked like that was snowed in a little bit, but I guess he had no trouble opening the door. Maybe it opens inward. That makes sense. This is a beautiful little home, and there's a refrigerator in here, too. Hello! This could certainly prove useful. I imagine there's quite a few good resources inside of this place. Let's let a match up real quick. There's a bathtub and everything, and a toilet. We can take water from the toilet. That's a really good idea. 
Does the faucet work? I doubt it. Medicine shelf. Oh yeah. All right, time to find some goodies, man. Water bottle and painkillers to start us off. Let's look at the cabinet down here real fast. I imagine some more medical supplies, maybe. Another water bottle is good. Oh, we have two cabinets here. Nice. Can't just look through the whole thing with one door. That would be too convenient. So we're going to rummage through this like place this like crazy. Wool long underwear is pretty solid find early on. I'm really... Oh, goodness. Insulated vest. That's really good as well. I'm really hoping that that fridge contains a lot of goodies and... You know what? I I imagine maybe that might be something that I can finally utilize the way I was wanting to utilize things uh, in our previous endeavors in Can't the long guard. You're not that cold, man. Do you need the socks that we just grabbed? Maybe that's the kind of message you're trying to tell me. Compression bandage. Nice. A strict movement on an injury. That sounds pretty good. It's still cold in here? Warming up a little bit. Let's go ahead and throw that insulated vest. That sounds like a good idea. And then we already have a pair of wool socks on, but some wool long underwear can certainly help us out as well. I wonder if this is warmer, actually. It is considerably warmer. Okay, so that's good. A couple degrees warmer now. That's awesome. Yeah, anyway, the uh, the point I was trying to make. I, uh, in, in episodes prior, I, I always wanted to be able to store... Oh, nice. That's a beautiful little sweater. I always wanted to be able to store away food in, like, a freezer or something in order to keep it better for a longer period of time. Mittens ought to be nice. In fact, I wonder if I'm already wearing gloves. Uh, yes, I am wearing basic gloves. Okay. So I'm really hoping that we can use this fridge and freezer as a means of storing food for uh, much longer than we normally would be able to. That would be very, very nice. Doesn't really look like these guys took much of anything when they left. Interesting. Ten of sardines as well. I'm going to search these cabinets eventually. Let's go ahead and search through the fridge, see what we can find inside of here. I could use this. Another water bottle. Two water bottles. Very good. Wouldn't mind finding like a six-pack of water bottles in here or something else. Ha! <laughs> no, not really. That wouldn't be very helpful. Those are both empty. Aside from the, aside from the water. That's a bit of a disappointment. Kind of wish this was a bit brighter in here, too. Oh, speak of the devil. There we go. That's a useful find right there. And a television. Perfect. Wood matches too. Excellent. Okay. This should prove to be a very a very good uh, base of operations if I happen to want to come back here and set things up well. Salty crackers are not bad at all. There's a photo of a family. Oh, that's kind of sad. This is a nice little home. It looks beautiful. A very pleasant place to live. Oh, it was a one bedroom. That looked like they had two kids. So that couldn't have been very comfortable. Poor family. Does this work? Nothing yet. I imagine that'll take place later on in the development process. Probably get some kind of benefit out of the radio. Maybe even with the story, that'll play a, a bigger role. A lot of wood matches in here. That's a good, good supply to have abundance of. Can't ever hurt to be able to light a match in whenever you want to. That would be really nice. Not finding much in these cabinets, unfortunately. Maybe I jumped the gun on declaring that this family left without having uh, too many resources at their disposal. But I'm finding a decent supply of little uh, foods here. Granola bars, energy bars, tin of sardines, some salty crackers. A lot of uh, a lot of water as well, though that toilet water I imagine I probably want to boil before I take any big old sips out of it. Some pinnacle peaches are good here too. So again, we're hoping to find that can opener early Looks on. Looks like this has been here a while. Probably. Getting that can opener would be very, very nice. I've never actually tried to smash open any food, so I'm not really sure exactly how effective that would be. But I imagine in a desperate situation, I wouldn't have any trouble trying to go for that. Nearly done with all the cans now, or the pork and beans. That'll come in. Add handy. to the inventory. Got some orange soda too. Got a few more cabinets up on the top. And then I'm just going to, more than likely, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I don't really want to go that far out of this place, although I'm probably warming up to a significant degree now. Maybe if I took about an hour's nap and then tried to grab some food and drink and head it out. Might be my best bet. Probably call that good. See the microwave. Not a lot else. Can't open up the oven. I imagine maybe they stored away something in here. Nah, probably not. <laughs> Wouldn't make a lot of sense, would it? Okay, so, probably time to grab some toilet water. That's a sentence I definitely thought I'd say at some point in my life. Grab all this stuff. All of it. Take it all. Take it all. That is for me to consume. Alright. I think we're good. 
Let's go ahead and have a quick nap. So we can warm up. Rest for two hours. Just get that fatigue level all the way down. Probably eat a couple of, uh... Maybe a tin of sardines and... An energy bar. Have a quick drink and then we will be heading out of here. To venture out into the great unknown. Let's grab, uh... Let's actually sort by condition here to make sure we're using the things that... Need to be used. Granola bar will follow up very soon and then we will be on our way. Pretty good condition wise, not a bad start, got a lot of good stuff, and we are out of here, man. It's good to be able to know that this place is available if I want to come back to a to a to a welcoming abode, as it were. Lots of rabbits around here too, and some birds. Interesting. Alright, so I got kinda turned around, but uh I think what I wanted to do is go check out this area over here. How much further this way can we go? It looks like I can get to those areas on the horizon, but I'm just not sure. Again, that's a very real fear I have of falling through the ice and freezing to death underwater. Or drowning. Or both! Equally terrifying. Maybe we should just go ahead and head over this way. There's another island over here, of course, and it looks like another cabin on this island, too. Which could be just as good as the one we just found, so maybe we ought to head over this way. That's probably a good idea. It looks like there's some wolves over here, though, too. I haven't found a weapon yet, but we might get lucky up on the top of this one. We'll stop by the ice hole fishing area. Somebody uh, left a comment, by the way, on the uh, previous episode about the possibility, maybe, of adding a fishing pole to this game, which I thought would be really cool. They already got the, uh, the holes in the ground for ice fishing, so I imagine maybe there are... Planning on adding that in at some point. I certainly would not be surprised to find out this. that that is in the cards. That is our fifth pair of wool socks, I believe, so we're probably going to want to harvest a couple of those at some point. We do have our lantern now as well. We got a little bit of newsprint for kindling, but unfortunately we don't really have any kind of wood to be able to start up a good fire, so we're probably going to have to forge for that before we are able to get that going. Ooh, okay, so this is a... This is kind of a bad situation here. Tell you what I might want to try to do. I think I can survive a struggle, and I've got a few medical supplies. I want to try a strategy here. I want to try to light a flare and see if maybe I can scare away a wolf with that. Although, if he's not really attracted to me at the moment, maybe I should just go ahead and... Oh, no, okay, this is happening. All right, yeah, he's... He's on the prowl. All right, buddy. You want to play this game? How you feel now, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's scary, isn't it? Eh, yeah, that's not something you want to mess with, huh? None of your friends coming around either, that's right. Stay back. Stay back, you stupid little wolf. Dumb animal. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, yep, yeah, so, stay there. Stay there. Probably shouldn't have thrown it. <laughs> I was taunting him. Alright. I think we're good. Just nice and calm. If I start running, he starts running. I have a feeling he's going to be a lot faster than me, so... We're just going to call it good here. Yeah, I think we're set. Alright, up we go! I think we've made it. As long as we can scale this. Nice. Oh man, I'm really glad that worked. <laughs> I had a feeling that I read about that somewhere, but that's really good to know I've uh, put it into practice. You can't indeed scare off wolves with flares if you happen to have some. Misanthrop's Homestead. Interesting, this is a multi-level home. I wonder if there will be stairs inside. I certainly hope so. That could lead to good things. I was almost expecting this to be locked. There we go. Nice, there are indeed stairs. Okay. Very, very good. Thought maybe a basement too. That would have been nice. See if we can find ourselves a can opener somewhere in here. I'd really like to find that. That's the exact same family. They had two houses both on separate islands. That is just selfish. What have we here? I guess this is where they sent the kids, right? If they only had the one bedroom in the other house, they're gonna have somewhere for the children to sleep. Unless they're all sharing the same bed, which is kinda weird. Also probably pretty dangerous if the kids are young. Oh well. Who am I to judge? A bit more water in here, some newsprint, pork and beans, very nice. Quite a few more resources. We're gonna search this whole thing, of course. Probably take up some more toilet water, because that's the kind of life we're living now, I guess. Let's head upstairs, though, and I think it's about high time we call it good for this episode of The Long Dark. I appreciate your support, guys, very much for watching the series. Leave a, uh, leave a like on there if you're enjoying it. Appreciate that a lot as well. It does go a long way to supporting my uh, 
Supporting my endeavors here. I'm gonna grab a quick nap and we are gonna wake up and search this place clean. Next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.